The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are labored and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. On this feast of the most sacred heart of Jesus, we have in our first reading uh, kind of a summary of what our Lord did for the Old Testament uh, Jewish people. He gave them a wonderful set of provinces making up Israel, a land which they took over without having to plant a tree, put up a building, or uh, do anything for vineyards. They uh, took over the land by minimal conquest and it was theirs uh, to enjoy. Talk about a love gift of unimaginable proportions. It was for the uh, Moses' immediate followers and those who took over the Holy Land, a phenomenal gift. And God only asked in return, obey my commandments. And that was done for several generations, but not always. Uh, and so uh, for, for the ancient people, that manifestation of God's love uh, to start their nation and to protect them was a wonderful promise fulfilled. And today in our gospel, we have a wonderful sense uh, that Jesus is saying, I give you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, uh, you have revealed all these good things to your little ones. Our Lord is reminding the New Testament people uh, that we continue to give praise to Almighty God and Father, uh, and even his wisdom and grace helps us to understand his graciousness, his tremendous gift of grace, but most of all, what he wants us to do. And uh, so our Lord is reminding them that he isn't talking on his own authority, he is talking on that of the Father. Uh, and so uh, the, the good news that Jesus brings from the Father is revealed to us and we and others pass it on to others. And so what is wonderful in this uh, greatness of God sending his son to bless, to instruct and to save us is that we have a wonderful sense of God cares about the least of, of all his people, the forgotten, the overlooked, the homeless and whatever. Uh, and so even those who may feel exhausted I'm there to give you rest. Uh, and so uh, in this kind of a wonderful sense of message, uh, God's commandments may seem uh, like a yoke, but for uh, the people of our Lord's time, they looked upon a yoke as a welcome uh, reminder. It wasn't so much a burden as it was a, a, a sense of teachings that we continue to be God's obedient and gracious people. What we have received as a gracious gift needs to be expressed in gratitude, uh, needs to be said in words and actions, how blessed, how grateful we are. And feasts like today, the most sacred heart of Jesus reminds us of that overflowing love of the heart of, of God, of that wonderful sense of not keeping wonderful things for himself, but meant to be shared among his people on earth. Uh, and so we who have received much need to remind ourselves we have to be gracious in wonderful ways to a gracious and loving Father. Uh, and so he is, his sense of giftedness is to help us with our burdens, 
to strengthen us in our challenges and to remind us he is always with us. It's a heart of love that overflows limitless matters. And may we be gracious receivers of his tremendous love.